and welcome back to my channel it's been a long time i have new hair this orange hair is immortalized on youtube forever all right let's get into it so basically i think it was a couple of weeks ago i went a bit of a spending bridge no a spending binge and i bought a, I bought a bunch of stuff and one of those well several of those things <laughs> were, were a lot of um sex toys that had been on my wish list for a very very long time and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get them eventually, let me just get them now. So with these two videos, because there's only two parts, because I got products from SH Pioneers and I also got products from Love Honey. So I'm gonna separate them out into two videos, just because, uh, I don't know, it, com it compartmentalizes it better in my head. <laughs> that is two separate videos, because I have two separate people, and that's just how I'm gonna do it. <laughs> First up, we are going to do SH Pioneer. I think that's how you say it. Like, you either say shh. But I think that's kind of long every time I want to say it. <laughs> so um, it's going to be SH Pioneer first. And the reason why I'm really excited about the products I got from them was because you might remember from my earlier videos where I did a strap-on review from Bondara and then a follow-up video about what I wish I knew before I strapped someone. And I, I said before, you know, that um, my first strap that I bought, it just wasn't very comfortable. It dug into my skin and then like the movement as well, it was really hurting my pubic bone. So I was like, mm, I like strap, I, li <laughs> I like using a strap on, but I don't like that strap on. So I was like searching the internet for a more comfy, a better one that I could, that I could, you know, use for next time. And that's how I found SH Pioneers. Is it SH Pioneers? I don't, I don't. Let's just call them SH for now. And they basically focus a lot on female femme pleasure and like, you know, they just focus more on the pleasure side of things. And they actually designed their own strap harness. Like it was made out of leather and it's like easily customizable, different sizes, comes in really cool colors. Can you guess what color I got mine in? Yeah, you're probably right. If you guess anything other than purple, you're wrong. Come on guys, you should know by now. I also got a few other things from them as well because they make their own dildos. From the first video, I got very ambitious from the get-go and I was like, let's get the biggest dildos ever to strap someone with. I'm like, Ugh. in hindsight now, that probably wasn't a great idea because you have to ease someone into it because I had to be eased into any sort of anal play. I don't know why I thought it would be a good idea to just jump straight into a <laughs> big old dick, <laughs> you know? So I bought a dildo from them as well. And I also bought this thing called a bumper and it's meant to like stimulate my pubic area and also provide some comfort when I'm using a strap on. And then I also got some anal beads, which are my fit, which is my fret. They are my first like anal specific toys that I've got. Let me stop describing and let me just show you. The SH stuff come in a bag like this very discreet so you can just put anything in there and this will be the dildo this thing is the anal beads in the pictures you know i was i was kind of intimidated by the pictures that were online because it seemed so big but i guess it makes sense that it's actually a bit <laughs> it makes sense that it's actually a lot smaller because your anal cavity can't be that big right it's not that big unless as and if it gets any bigger you're like going into the intestine and that's the way you that's not what you want. Yeah, and this is the bumper. Also purple. Let's have a look at the dildo. I say let's have a look. I know what it looks like. I bought it. Okay, so this is it. It's a, it described it as an intro sort of dildo to use. Um, I like that the insert is like this heart shape. Very cute. I got a pink. It comes in a plastic wrapping. This is it. Very soft. Very malleable. Is that the word? Malleable? <laughs> no unpleasant odour, which is quite common when you buy sex toys. Sometimes you can get funny smelling ones. Let's put that back in there. That's a cutie. That's a keeper. I say that's a keeper, but um, if it, even if it wasn't a keeper, I'm not going to return it. Actually, you know what? It's a keeper. Let's just stick with it as a keeper. What's this? So inside, congratulations! You are now the owner of an original SH toy, which has been lovingly handmade in our studio using certified body safe silicone. Cool, cool, cool. Benefits of silicone: they're cashmere of toy materials, hypoallergenic, and contains no latex. Silicone product. Oh. Silicone produces the very best dildos and butt plugs. 
non-porous silicon neither discloses nor absorbs any substances, an investment that is practically indestructible. Hmm. I'm not going to try and destroy it, but it's good to know. SH silicone toy will provide years of pleasure as long as it's cared for properly. Warms quickly to body temperature and transmits vibration as well. I like this. This is nice. I like that they have a little um, label in there for anyone, you know, who's their first time buying any sort of toys. It's comforting to know they care enough to tell you how to do stuff because I know that it's a bloody wormhole trying to figure out how to do stuff online. Let's really nice. On to the strap. I am immediately already going to have an easier time putting this on than, <laughs> the other, than the last time I tried to put the strap on. You've got like the O shape thingy to put the dildo through. Um, addable ring. Where's it addable? Other ones that you can replace it with, basically. It's nice, it feels soft already. I love it already because it feels very, very soft. It's going to be so comfy against my coochie. I can just feel that. And what's in this? There we go. Another booklet. Oh my god, that's so cool! Oh! Okay, I love it already. I love it. Do you know what it has? It has instructions. It has instructions. I need instructions. This is amazing. It even has cleaning instructions as well. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like that, SH. This is the bumper. It is not made by SH, they just sell it. It's made by Banana Pants. So a bumper is a dildo-based stimulation cushion. It fits over the base of, a, of your strap-on dildo. It's maximum sensation and connection, extra cushion for the cushion. I like that, I like that. It's soft supple silicone and it fits most bases up to three and a quarter inches. And it's compatible with most harnesses. So use with only water-based lube and clean with soap and water. Nice. And then, yeah, you've seen many of these. So cute. Another thing that I like about this, these anal beads in particular, is that it has a flared end. And you really want to get a toy that has a flared end because you don't want anything getting stuck stuck up the bum hole because then that's a trip to A&E and you don't want that. And I'm not speaking from experience because like I said, this is my first anal specific, specific toy. But I've heard a lot of horror stories and I've watched enough Grey's Anatomy to know that people like to stick stuff in their bum and they don't like to think about how they're going to get it back out again. <laughs> so if you're buying a toy, make sure it has something like this that's not just going to get <laughs> stuffed up in your bum hole and not come back out again. Let me step into this harness. I'm going to step in like that. Are you want to step in like that? I should adjust this because my ass is big. So I'm not actually following the instructions and I said I was gonna follow the instructions, but I'm too eager. So I'm just gonna hope for the best. I got a medium because the website says that the medium should fit my size. And because it's like adjustable straps, I figured even if it's a bit too small to start with, it'll be fine in the long run. Okay. All right, so this is it. Adjust it. You don't want it to fall off, you know? Here's the back. So far, a lot more comfy. I like it, I like it a lot. I love the color. It comes in red, black, purple. I think there's a pink. I'm not totally sure. Ooh, ow, fuck. Jesus Christ, I should not have done that. Ow. Here's the dildo. It goes in that way. I feel like there must be an easier way to put this on. I'm just not doing it. Oh, we're in. So this is it on, without the bumper. Could you just? Okay. <laughs> my fork top. <laughs> my fork top. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I know where we're going. There we go. We're back in business, people. Back in business. This is comfy. It's cute. It's cute. I have a mirror right here, so I'm going to look as well. Damn. Damn. I like it. I love it. I can't wait to use it. Now let's try it on with the bumper. So here it is. You put the the base of the dildo ow fudge in it i'm gonna get this out oh my god i'm getting out there you go. so you put this part into this part and then this part against your um pubic area let's try this please dear god fit <laughs> okay it's fitting Ready? Huh. 
kind of misshapen it a bit. Let's try and move it down. So as it's on, this is the harness, and then you put it through like that. Then this goes against you, and you tighten back the harness. Oh, okay. This works. I wonder if I can actually, you know what? I'm gonna go off camera and I'm gonna try doing the movements that I would do with this on to see if the bumper actually works and if it does actually, you know, do something better. A few moments later. So it has to be low enough position wise. Let me see. Can you see? All right, so it has to be in position low enough for you to really feel anything when you're mo pushing, you know? For the cushion, for the cushion, there's cushion there, there's cushion there, but like in terms of will it stimulate your clitoris whilst you're... is up for debate. I feel like it could, but it has to be like in a, in a very particular and specific position for it to do that, which may or may not be comfortable for a while. I don't know, I, I have to really like try out in person to be able to give you an accurate review. But so far, I feel like it would do the job. Like it's cushioning my pubic area and it has the ridges in place that theoretically and evidently probably would rub against you know, your clitoris in a good way and make it pleasurable for you whilst you're also giving pleasure to someone else. I think it's a good investment. I think it's a very good investment. But we shall see. We shall see. When I get to try it out, we shall see. Yeah, I'll post a comment in the future when I have tried it to see, to let you know whether it's a yay or a <laughs> nay. <laughs> I will also leave a comment about the anal toy and whether I enjoyed it. Probably will enjoy it. But I'll let you know what that's like as well in the comments, whether I would uh, give it a yay or a hmm, no. So those are all the things I bought from SH. I will definitely be buying more things from them because they update products regularly. And their focus as a company in terms of like pleasure for femmes, for LGBTQ communities, I think that's not done enough. And there's a lot of focus on head to, it's like sex toys are very heteronormative and they don't tend to focus that much on, you know, what women actually want or what other um, non, you know, heterosexual straight men want. I think that's so important, I think that's so great. And that's why I'm really, really excited that I'm part of their affiliate program. Yeah, there's a catch, guys, there's a catch. I'm a sellout. Lies, I'm not a sellout because I actually really like this brand. If you do want to buy any of the products I mentioned in this video, you can head over to shpioneer.com. I'm making that up. I'm not entirely sure if that's the website, but I will link the website. Head over to there and you can use my code Tony-SH10. Is that my code? I really, really, really hope that's my code. If it's not, I'm going to put it in the video as well. And you get 10% off your orders. And if you do use the code, that means I get a bit of a commission as well. So help a girl out. Help a broke bitch out, you know? Their products are really good. I honestly 100% love them. I love the strap one already. I love it so much, I haven't taken it off. I'm going to take it off, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I, I love the brand as a whole because they also do a lot of great workshops as well. They have loads of resources online. You know, it's a great company to be affiliated with and they make their own dildos. Come on, what other sex what other sex toy brands make their own dildos? Okay, it's probably a handful of other people, but I think it's pretty cool and they use really cool colours as well. <laughs> so that is it for part one of my sex toy haul. Is it a haul? Can you can you call it a sex toy haul? Sex toy haul haul. Is that cool? Anyway, part two will come up very, very soon. <laughs> you know, let me take it back. Part two will come up when I have the energy to edit it and then post it. So keep an eye out, keep an eye out. It'll surprise you. It might come the next day after this one, it might come a week after. It might come a month after. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, <laughs> it depends on my energy. Today, I'm really grateful for the fact that I have so much energy to be able to film this video plus another video because <sighs> I'm a lazy girl. <laughs> My lovelies, this is the end of part one. Again, I'm saying this again because I forgot what I was supposed to say. Oh yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe. Is that, is that it? Is that it? <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe. Turn on, turn on your notifications, share with your friends. And of course, if you want to support me as well, I have some links in the bio. Directly use my PayPal link if you want to tip and support my work. You can also follow me on Instagram. I'm on TikTok as well. I occasionally make videos. I occasionally make videos on TikTok. Are they funny or not? I don't know. I think they're quite funny.
think I think I'm an Aries. I think I'm so. I am just so well-rounded. I'm getting off track again. I'm getting off track again. Okay, so let's run through all the things you need to do. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications, share with your friends and family. <laughs> Maybe not your family. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on all the other social medias I'm on, and tip me or support me on Ko-fi or PayPal, whichever one you're comfortable with. I don't mind. Help a sister out, help a girl out, help a broke bitch out. Alrighty. Bye, my loves. Until next time. <laughs>